Hello, my colleagues. This is a new lesson about physical quantities, scalar and vector. Here we can know the difference between them and uh, some applications on them and the examples like mass, time, weight, and so on. First of all, what is the scalar? The scalar is a physical quantity that has only a magnitude. For example, speed, energy, mass, time, and temperature. I say he weighs 70 kilograms. I then say uh, towards, upwards, and so on. And the temperature is 13 Celsius without any direction. While the vector is a physical quantity that has a magnitude and a direction. For example, force, displacement, velocity, and, dis and acceleration. I see examples is better to deliver the information, like here, man A surrounded a rectangular building with a 6 meter width and a 10 meter length, while man B is inside the building and he walks uh, along the diagonal in the same time interval of two thirds of a minute. So you have to find the displacement covered by man A, and the distance covered by man A, and the speed of man A, and the velocity of man A. And the man B, you have to find the distance, the displacement, the speed, and the velocity. To work well with this question, you have to know that two-thirds of a minute equals 40 seconds. And the distance covered by man A equals the perimeter of the rectangular building, which equals 6 plus 10 uh, times 2, which equals 22 meters, while the displacement equals 0. Why 0? Because uh, the displacement is the change in the position, and he returned it back to his initial position so he displaced about zero meters okay uh, the speed here the speed is equals the total distance cover covered in uh, the time interval which equals 0.55 uh, uh, meters per second while the velocity equals the delta of the displacement over the delta of a time which here zero over x which equals zero this amount about man a what about man b man b covered the distance equals the uh, diagonal of the rectangle we can get it by the rules of geometrics and by Pythagoras which equals 11.66 meter this is the distance and as the as equal as the displacement in this in this case we can say that the distance equals the displacement because the man walks in a straight line not like man a so the speed and the velocity will have the same value 0.29 meters per second while this uh, velocity have also a direction as well as a displacement which equal, uh, is in the northern west of his pos uh, initial position another example here albert had a mass of 75 kilograms he exerted a certain force on the earth which equals his mass multiplied by the gravitational acceleration suppose that the gravitational acceleration equals 9.8 meter per second squared what is the magnitude and the direction of this force? Here we have a, to differentiate between the scalar and vector. His mass is a scalar. It doesn't matter with me in, in which direction it is. While the force is, a, is a, a vector quantity. So you must know the magnitude as well as the direction. We can apply the formula uh, F which is the force equal the mass M times A which is the gravitational acceleration and it will be 735 newtons in the direction of downward. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed.